Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, I think at this point, most global players are pretty starved for content, right? I mean, the prelude to Christmas campaign was a huge, huge disappointment to say the least, and we're just ready to pretend this ever happened and move on to the next big thing. So in today's video, I wanna give you guys a quick preview of all the potential events and units and banners that global players can expect for this year's Christmas campaign. Now, before we get into it, I do wanna be clear that I don't know exactly what's gonna happen, so this video is mostly gonna be speculation, even though I'm pretty confident that we will be getting the events that I'll be talking about in this video, it's not guaranteed. So if you guys are cool with that, then keep watching and let's just get into it. So first things first, in terms of the new banner slash units, we are probably gonna be getting the Tech LR Jiren Legendary Summon Banner with the new, of course, LR Jiren, as well as a new Int Topo. So here's a quick look at the featured unit. There's the Topo, there's Jiren, and of course the rest of the units are already in the game, but they are, you know, in the Tournament of Power slash Universe Survival Saga theme. And there's not really too much to say here. I mean, Tech LR Jiren is an absolute monster, easily one of the best units in the entire game, and Topo is a pretty good support unit as well. But uh, when it comes to legendary summon banners, they're generally not great banners to summon on. They're usually not good value for your stones, and I feel like this banner is really not too different. Uh, I'll go into more detail about whether or not people should be summoning or how many stones I feel like people should spend in an upcoming video, but for now, there's the banner, and uh, the global banner will probably look exactly the same as well. So those are the new units, but of course, as I always say, oh, actually, uh, let's talk about release date. So if you go back to last year's Christmas campaign, we got the LR Kale and Khalifla banner on December 19th. So I'm expecting the Jiren banner to drop around that time as well, maybe a little bit earlier, like the 16th or 17th, but definitely somewhere around that time. All right, so from there, let's talk about some potential events because as I always say, a new unit or a new banner is not really content. I mean, that's the mistake they made with the Prelude campaign, right? Where they released this very hype unit, even though the banner wasn't great, a lot of people were very excited for Super Saiyan Blue Kakun Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, but they didn't put anything around them. You know, there was barely any Thing new to grind, any new events to play, right? So despite the hype new unit, overall the campaign was a disaster. But I feel like the Christmas celebration, like the official one, is gonna be different. And the first event that I think we will definitely be getting is a new Extreme Z battle for AGL Dispo and STR Topo. Now this one has to come out with the LR Jiren banner because if they don't, then the new Universe 11 category, which is gonna be brought over by Jiren, is gonna be really bad, right? So I'm saying this one's a guarantee. And taking a quick look at the event here, the weakness is Universe Survival Saga. And obviously as you go through the event, we're getting one stone per level, getting medals for both Topo and Dispo, some STR and AGL orbs, and also some STR and uh, AGL Grand Kais. And just go through 30 stages to get everything just like every other Extreme Z battle. And let's uh, also take a look at the Extreme Z Awakened details for both these guys, starting with Dispo. His leader skill is gonna be AGL types key plus three, HP, attack, and defense plus 100%, super attack, supreme damage, and raises attack and defense by 50% for six turns. Passive is attack plus 20%, and chance of evading enemies' attack, including super attacks, plus 20%, up to 60% at start of each turn, plus an additional attack plus 20% within the same turn after receiving an attack. So for this portion of his passive, it stacks infinitely. So theoretically, he can reach an attack boost of 10,000%. But of course, given the current events in the game, this is impossible to reach. And his links are Signature Pose, Hero of Justice. Actually, you know what? Links don't change from before, so I'm not gonna go over them again. But uh, that's Dispo for you. And then for Topo, 
his leader skill is going to be all types key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 80%, super attack, supreme damage, and raises allies attack by 30% for one turn. And passive is attack and defense plus 70%, all allies key plus 1, attack and defense plus 40%, and all allies defense minus 70%. Or sorry, all enemies defense minus 70%. Reduces damage received by 40% when HP is 70%. Or less. So both these guys are very good with their EZAs, but I would say Topo is definitely superior, mainly because you're going to get a lot more use out of him as a top tier support unit and also a very good tank when you're below 70% HP compared to Dispo, who is much more situational. So those are the EZAs that I think we're definitely going to be getting. And after that, we could also get the Kale and Khalifla Extreme Z Awakening. Given the theme of the celebration or just this Christmas campaign in general, um, it would make sense, right? Tournament of Power, uh, Universe Survival Saga, all that good stuff. Now, I can't be too sure about this though because we should have gotten it a while back with Kefla and since then it's just been pushed back and pushed back and pushed back and I don't know if they're ever gonna give this to us guys. I mean, now is as good of a time as ever to drop this EZA, but who knows what Bandai and Akatsuki are gonna do. So I'm gonna say maybe Kale and Khalifa Extreme Z Awakening around the same time, probably not together, but maybe like they drop one and then a week and a half later, drop the other one. But if not Kale and Khalifa, then I'm still expecting another Extreme Z battle and it would probably be for the Int Kid Boo. So I'm gonna say either Kale and Khalifa EZA on top of Topo and Dispo, or Int Kid Boo. Int Kid Boo is actually more likely in my mind just because they seem to not want to give us Kale and Khalifa, right? So we'll have to see about this one, but I'm very, very confident about Topo and Dispo at the very least. Hopefully the girls as well. From there, we have a new story event, University 11 story event, where we can farm a free-to-play phase uh, casserole slash pride troopers. And this is actually a pretty good free-to-play unit. Leader skill is super class key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 40%, super attack raises defense and causes supreme damage, and passive is attack and defense plus 80% plus an additional attack and defense plus 40% when there is another Universe 11 category ally attacking in the same turn, and then Universe 11 category allies key plus 1, attack and defense plus 30%, links are Hero of Justice, Signature Pose, Brainiacs, Supreme Warrior, Cold Judgment, Tournament of Power, Shadowing the Limit, and categories are Universe Survival Saga, Joint Forces, Special Pose, Universe 11, and Space Traveling Warriors, which of course won't be on Global until the STR Bojack comes out. So uh, from there, let's move on to the next Extreme Z area, which is going to be for the AGL uh, Kakunsa as well as the Int Rosie, who both got their uh, releases on Global recently and also their Awakenings. And now they're going to get Extreme Z Awakenings and become much, much better. Some people were asking me why I was grinding Rosie and Kakunsa because they're not very good without the EZAs, right? But with their Extreme Z Awakenings, they're both excellent free-to-play units. So I think it's still worth it. And uh, I'll give you guys a quick look at the event here. Um, oh, actually, I completely forgot that Rebrianne also got an Extreme Z Awakening. So yeah, STR Rebrianne, Int Rosie, and AGL Kakunza all getting EZAs through this Extreme Z area event. You obviously have to have all three of them on your team. And here is the full pool of units that you're allowed to bring on your team for this Extreme Z area. And taking a quick look at their details. For Kakunsa, her leader skill is going to be Special Pose, key plus 3, HP, attack and defense plus 77%, or AGL types key plus 3, HP, attack and defense plus 50%, super attack raises attack, causes supreme damage, and lowers attack, and passive is attack and defense plus 80%, special pose category allies key plus 2, attack and defense plus 22%, and defense plus 22% at the start of each turn, and high chance of stunning the attacked enemy when there's an ally whose name includes Rubrian or Rosie, attacking in the same turn. Her max stats at rainbow status are 12,307 HP, 13,632 attack, and 8,792 defense. For Rosie, her leader skill is going to be special pose category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 77%, or int types key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 50%. Super attack raises defense, 
causes supreme damage and lowers enemies defense. And passive is attack and defense plus 80%, special pose category allies keep plus 2, attack and defense plus 22%, and then attack plus 22% at the start of each turn, and seals the attacked enemy's super attack. And there is an ally whose name includes Ribrian or Kakunsa attacking in the same turn. And uh, once again, her max stats at rainbow status, HP is 11,549. Uh, attack is 13,855 and defense is 8,774. And finally, we have Ribrienne, whose leader skill is going to be Peppy Gals, category K plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 99%, or SDR types, K plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 50%. She has two different super attacks. The second one has a 30% chance to proc. So the first super attack raises attack and defense for one turn, causes supreme damage, and lowers defense. And the second super attack raises attack and defense for one turn, causes supreme damage uh, with greater power, and lowers defense. So basically she does more damage since she raises her super attack multiplier by 60%. And her passive is attack and defense plus 22% per Peppy Gals category ally on the team. Recovers 22,222 HP per Rainbow Key Sphere obtained, plus an additional attack and defense plus 22%, chance of performing a critical hit plus 22%, and chance of evading enemies' attack, including super attack, plus 22%, when there's an ally whose name includes Rosie or Kakunsa attacking in the same turn. Her new stats with the EZA at Rainbow Status 15,491 HP. 14,485 attack, and 8,583 defense. So those are the three girls getting Extreme Z Awakenings. And I forgot to actually tell you guys the stats for Topo and Dispo before. So let me just quickly go back here. So for Dispo, he's about to have 16,939 HP, 15,910 attack, and 11,467 defense. And for Topo, he will have 15,345 HP, 15,762 attack, and 12,350 defense. That is a ton of defense. Okay, so in addition to the Extreme Z area, we should also be getting a new explosive chain battle. Uh, number one, we haven't had one in about a month. And number two, it will just fit the theme and fit the timing since all the advantageous characters are universe 11 characters, right? So expect the uh, Angel Golden Frieza explosive chain battle boss to be coming for Christmas as well. I will be making a guide for people to help you guys, you know, build your teams and try to get the highest score possible. So after that, we have another Extreme Z area and this one is 100% guaranteed to be dropping on Christmas slash Christmas Eve, depending on your time zone, because they already told us in the in-game news, right? The Super Saiyan Goku, Prime Battle, Super Saiyan Goku, Extreme Z area. And at this point, you guys should be either done with uh, farming your units or at least very close because time is running out. And a quick reminder, all six of these guys have to be fully Extreme Z awakened and rainbowed for you to take on the event. So through this, we get the Extreme Z awakening medals to Extreme Z Awaken Prime Battle LR Super Saiyan Goku, and he will officially become the best free-to-play unit in the game, at least on global, until the Prime Battle uh, First Form Frieza Extreme Z Awakening drops. But that won't be coming for a while. We're also gonna be getting another LR Extreme Z Awakening, and this one's for the uh, Thousand Day Spirit Bomb LR Goku. Now, unfortunately, most people watching this video, myself included, won't get to actually Extreme Z Awaken him anytime soon because in order to get his Extreme Z Awakening medals, you have to log into the game for 2,000 days in total. Okay, I'm currently around 1450 maybe, so I still got like two years, okay, less than that, but like a year and a half to go, right? And I know a lot of you guys watching don't even have this Goku yet because you haven't logged in for a thousand days. So this isn't really going to be a concern for, you know, most people. But just in case you're one of those people that has been playing since day one, 
will go over the details for you. Okay, so leader skill, all types Q plus 3, HP, attack and defense plus 120%, super attack, 12 key, colossal damage, and raises allies attack and defense by 20% for 2 turns. And uh, 18 key is mega colossal damage and raises allies attack and defense by 30% for 1 turn. Passive is attack and defense plus 77% plus an additional key plus 1, attack and defense, and chance of performing a critical hit plus 7% and recovers 7,777 HP per key sphere obtained, plus an additional defense plus 1,000 per key sphere obtained for 1,000 turns from start of turn, and plus an additional attack plus 2,000 per key sphere obtained for 2,000 turns from start of turn. So that is the thousand day spirit bomb goku extreme z awakening um i'll do a showcase for you guys in about a year and a half from now and uh this one okay so i'm not too confident about this i feel like we should be getting it now since it's been a while since you know jp got it but i wouldn't say it's super likely maybe 50 50 and i'm talking about the 10 new uh, Super Battle Road category stages, 31 to 40, and the categories are representatives of Universe 7, Wicked Bloodline, Time Travelers, Universe 6, Movie Heroes, Goku's Family, Vegeta's Family, Youth, Super Saiyans, and Final Trump Card. Now, of course, if we get this, it would be absolutely amazing because Super Battle Road stages always gives people something to work on for a while, right? I mean, there's always going to be people who just beat all of them first try, but the average player will probably take at least a couple of tries or maybe a lot of tries to beat each stage. So it's a challenge, and in my opinion, it's also pretty fun. So I'm really hoping we get these stages. But like I said, probably 50-50. And if we do get these, then we're also gonna be getting the new Battlefield, or sorry, uh, Super Battle Road LR, which is the Tech Goku and uh, Kid Gohan, their leader skill is Goku's Family, category key plus 4, HP, attack and defense plus 120%, super attack, 12 key, causes colossal damage, and seals super attack, and 18 key, raises defense, and causes mega colossal damage. Passive is defense plus 59%, attack plus 59%, when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack plus 58%, if it is an ultra super attack. Key plus 5, and recovers 5% HP at the end of the turn as the third attacker in a turn. And links are all in the family, Z Fighters, Saiyan Warrior Race, uh, Saiyan Lineage, Kamehameha, Shocking Speed, Legendary Power, and categories are Joint Forces, Goku's Family, and Kamehameha. And uh, finally, we will also definitely be getting this Tana Bata banner with the first ever return of the fifth anniversary Dual Duel Confest units, the STR Lugogeta and Tech Vegito Blue, and uh, Krillin and Blue Boys will also be on this banner too. But one thing I do want to definitely point out to bring to your attention is that there are a lot of featured SSRs on this banner. It's uh, 20 in total, right? Let's see, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yes, 20 in total, which means that with a 5% featured rate, you have a 0.25% chance of pulling a specific unit with each summon. So if you're going only for like one or two of them, then this banner is actually not going to be great for you. And you can also buy the fusions in the Baba Shop with coins, by the way. But if you're missing like five, six, or even more of these units, and especially if they're the LRs, like the fusions or the blue boys or the go bros, then this banner could be pretty awesome. Okay, so it's very situational, depends on what your box looks like, but this banner should be dropping um, either on or right before Christmas. All right, so uh, that's the video, guys. Those are all of the events and banners and units that I expect us on Global to get for this year's Christmas celebration. If things go according to plan, then it should be a very eventful campaign, especially compared to the campaign we're just coming off of, the prelude to Christmas. I'm really hoping that the reason the prelude was so bad is because they had, you know, this big surprise for us with all these new events and banners and just things to farm and things to do, all that good stuff. Um, we really need it on Global, like we really do. So while I don't know for sure, I got my fingers crossed, man. And uh, that is 
today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys agree with the events that I you know, pointed out, that I highlighted, or if you have some other ideas, I'd love to hear about those too. Okay, so that's it guys. Thank you once again for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.